I've come down to Kensington and on Molyneux Road at the moment and just behind me is Shield Road and I'm following up a story that we did this week in which we said that Merseyside actually has the highest number of street beat sex workers in the country outside of London and many of you got in touch with us and said that one particular problem area for this kind of work is, is in Kensington and particularly in this area that I am now in, in Molyneux Road and Shield Road where people are saying they're quite regularly seeing women being exploited into sex work in this area. I just thought I'd come down to see if that's the case and it's about half eight now in the evening and I've just driven down Shield Road and uh, at least three separate women who I, I believe, I can't, can't guarantee it, I believe our, our sex workers have, have gestured at the car, walked towards it, smiled and indicated that that, that that is the work that they are doing. Obviously, as I say, we can't absolutely guarantee it, but considering it's broad daylight and it's only half eight, it does seem to correspond with what a lot of the people are saying, that this is a real problem area for for this type of thing. Now, it's important to point out that, that, that this is not us having a go at, at the women who are involved in this. The, the article that we ran this week is, is much more about the fact that these women are being exploited, that they're actually very vulnerable to violence, to trafficking, and the people we've spoke to in Kensington, residents here, say that there are projects around the place that try to help the women involved, but that they are seeing time and time again the different types of exploitation, trafficking, and violence against these women is going on. And it is a real issue for the local authorities to, to try and tackle the police. And we've seen that this week, Jane Kennedy and Merseyside Police have secured nearly half a million pounds to try and help women who have been exploited into this kind of industry. And that money's gonna help them to point out who is bringing this misery to the streets, the people who are, who are trafficking these women in, who are exploiting them in this way. And it's gonna offer support for the people on the streets, which is clear tonight that something that they really need. Okay, hello, I'm um, back in the same area that I was before, but as you can see, it's considerably later now. Uh, I would say it's about half 10, uh, look at my phone, and I've come back to the same area that I was in before, which is Shield Road and where it meets Molyneux Avenue in Kensington. And I wanted to see if, as I said before, there was around, I thought around, I could see around three sex workers in this area in the daytime. I've come back and again, we can't always guarantee that the, the women I'm referring to are sex workers, but in, in my opinion, I think I've seen about seven or eight different women who I would class as sex workers. But what is more shocking is, um, just as I pulled up on, on Molyneux Road here, I'm almost certain that I've seen a, a transaction taking place. Um, there was a woman stood on the corner of Shield Road there, a car pulled in, she leant into the window, and then I saw the car quickly reverse round, come down Molyneux Avenue, and it's just gone into a car park, literally next to where I'm sat here, and I watched the woman follow, head in and, and get into the car. And obviously it's, it's quite shocking to see that that happening, you know, first person. We can never guarantee exactly what's happening, but I'm almost certain that that is, is what's going on here. And it's, it's just really quite shocking to see it up close. I don't want to try and film what's going on because obviously it wouldn't be appropriate. And also you, you never know how people are gonna react, but um, that is what I've just witnessed. And it's, it's this car park literally um, at the corner of Shield Road and Molyneux Road. Um, so yeah, so I mean, if, if we wanted to see up close and personal whether the sex worker industry is prevalent in this area, it doesn't get much more of a, a real example than actually seeing that transaction take place. And as we were talking about before, we've been told by residents that this is becoming more and more of an issue in this specific area. And what I've seen tonight, both the number of people who I believe are sex workers, um, there, was, there was two women sat on the corner before with a, a gentleman sat with them who seemed to be involved, seemed to know them. Again, we can't speculate too much, but there seemed to be some sort of operation going on there. Overall, it is quite shocking to see how busy this trade is and how, how many people are involved in it in this very small part of Kensington. And I'll be passing this information on to Merseyside Police and to Jane Kennedy, the Police and Crime Commissioner, because when, with that money that, that they are using to, to launch support services for sex workers, I will, along with the residents here, I'm sure I'll be suggesting that this is an area that, that they focus on first. Once again, just to clarify, that's that's just what we witness here tonight, and I imagine it, it's sort of fairly typical of what goes on from what residents have said on most evenings in this area of Kensington. 
Hello, yes, community politics is the way forward for British nationalism. And Joe Owens' videos are most certainly being watched. You've just watched another report by Echo Reporter Liam Thorpe. He's the one that originally brought the plight of the residents of Kensington to light regarding many issues except they left out the third world invasion and colonization of the area that's brought third world ways with it he's left conveniently left that out but i won't be when i stand there in 2018 but anyway he's just done another report what i was only talking about the other day prostitutes up and down and around shield road and molyneux road he said it's awful it's appalling the residents uh, are living a living nightmare in kensington well trust me right when I stand there next year, I will have a campaign that will reach down into the hearts of the people of Kensington. They will know where I'm coming from. They will also see how they've been abandoned by the local councillors, local government, the police, everyone. Uh, Liam Thorpe talks about the women being trafficked. I don't know the trafficked. I don't know. I'm not sure. They may just be local heroin addicts that are just feeding their um, addiction by uh, selling the bodies. I don't know. I'll find that out though. I will find that out today. Right. Uh, but just watching the report, it's obviously a dreadful situation that the local people of Kensington have to put up with. And like I said in my one of my previous videos, them prostitutes are there all day in the daytime when children are walking past, families are walking past, kids are going to school. It's an appalling situation now in Kensington. And who's responsible for this? Well, the people of Kensington will be made to know who's responsible for it and what the answers are to get their community back. That's what they've got to do. They've got to get behind my campaign to get their community back. You see, what's also happening now in Kensington with the housing multiple occupancy? There's a lot of properties in Kensington that are quite uh, big properties. And each room, not the house, not the property, each room is being rented out to a family. So it's becoming a bit of a transient area where the local uh, community, the local cohesive community is going. The community uh, bond spirit, uh, what people had built up for decades and decades has now been eroded because the area has been, uh, it's a dumping ground now for the third world who are bringing alien ways with them. And so the community cohesiveness the spirit has been undermined in Kensington. Well, trust me, trust me, Joe Owens is going to be there for the people of Kensington. I have got an excellent campaign for Kensington. And on a final note, I've already picked my campaign team for Kensington, so please don't anyone else ask. I have to do this right. I have to have the right people with me. But I'm going to do quite well there. But community politics is the way forward. And also, they are most certainly watching these videos, aren't they? Okay, thank you. I've just come straight from a meeting in the building behind me with the Kensington Community Association. And that's a group of people, about eight or nine of them I've just sat with for about an hour and listened to their stories about what is taking place in their area. They're all dreadfully unhappy with the state of things around here. They feel they've been totally forgotten about by everyone. And it's, there's been some really harrowing stories of constant crime, gangs of drug dealers on every corner, um, open prostitution. One woman told me that her little children now know what prostitutes are because they see them on the school run every day. Another shocking story of, of somebody openly defecating in, in their back alley. Uh, there's a lady there who's lived here for 35 years, loved the place, said it was the best community going now she's just sold her house and she can't wait to get away and that's the case for all of these people they feel they haven't got a voice um, none of them actually were prepared to go on camera um, or give me their names because they're so scared of of the people around here of the gangs of the crime and they don't want any comeback on them because they're, they're frightened a lot of them are frightened to go out of their house um, particularly at night uh, they say there's a complete lack of community lots and lots of um, big houses and multiple